So this is part two of my review on I Want to Dance with Somebody. There's a couple things I want to add that I did not add. Number one, um, I feel like this movie was to do a little bit of damage control. You know, there was a lot of positive and negative press when it comes to Whitney. And so I think it was to focus on her uh, positive moments. But then I think it also was to paint Clive in a certain light as well. For example, they skated over her passing away. They didn't mention that um, she died in the bathtub. They didn't mention that it was at his party, you know, and the controversy that comes with that. So I feel like there was some damage control when it comes to this movie. When it comes to Whitney's legacy, Clive's legacy, and even Sissy's. Because they didn't delve deep into... They showed Sissy as a stern woman, but they did not show the toxicity of the relationship that her and Sissy had either. Sissy was outright mean. Real mean. When I was reading Robin's book, when Whitney went to move in with Robin... Sissy came outside and said, you forgot your dush. Like, cruel. And there was also more on Whitney not having the look. I think Whitney's gorgeous. She actually was modeling. But they briefly mentioned that she didn't have the look. So it was just a lot of um, struggles that she was internalizing, not feeling accepted for just the natural state of who she was. That was never just okay from day one. Also, Whitney was molested, allegedly, I believe by Dionne Warwick's sister and so that may play a role also in um the sexual identity and preferences possibly um and this need to feel acceptance and secure and loved hypersexuality so um like i said already before i like all the deets I want all the deets. But uh, I do think that this movie was just a bit of damage control to paint certain individuals in a brighter light, including Whitney. But the thing is, with Whitney, Whitney's light is bright either way. We all love a story of someone going from rags to riches someone going through triumph and and trauma we all love that kind of story and um we are all rooting and we're all rooting for whitney even through her struggle P people of our community black community we laugh at at everything i don't care what you're going through we're gonna make fun of you <laughs> but we'll still be um behind you cheering you on too it's like, you know, I'm going to make fun of her, but you better not say nothing about her because she might. You know, it's that kind of energy. Like, so we're still rooting for, we were still rooting for Whitney, even in her darkest hour. I wish her story went a different way. And they also didn't show Nick. Nick was not a part of this movie at all. And Nick was played a very big role here. Um, very big role. And, yeah, I want to know about Ray J. I want, I want that story, okay? But at this point, 
we're never going to know the full truth of what went on. And I just think at this point, we need to let the GOAT, the voice, the greatest, the queen, we need to let Whitney rest. And we need to just continue to have positive thoughts about her, continue to be mentored by her, continue to be impacted by the gift um, that she gave to us. She literally gave everything she had to us. And watching her is like watching a master class. So, yeah. I enjoyed I Want to Dance with Somebody. Those are my reviews. This is my reaction. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out.